Hello garden friends, it's Gail your pond plant girl. Let's do a little uh, water garden maintenance. Have you watered your water garden today? Actually, all the water gardens have water. They do need to be watered daily, especially in the summer. In very hot climates, you can lose two inches of surface water per day. Watering also helps to keep pests down, and then, uh, and then you fish will eat the pests. And I have a lot of pests means I have not been checking and watering my plants each day. They've been munching on my water canna. So, especially in the summertime, water your water garden daily. Yeah, I know it's noisy out here, but see this leaf that's folded over? That's a good sign. There is a worm inside that's eating up my canna, and there it is. Okay, I squish them, so if you don't like this, the look of squishy worms, um, look away. That's a canna worm. They do a lot of destruction. Here's some canna that I just separated just the other day. And if you notice, I just have it in regular potting soil. It'll grow just fine in there. It's time to already separate my water canna. This is an Australia canna that I got at the beginning of the season and it was only like four or five inches tall and it's gotten pretty big. I've already separated it once, but it's ready to separate again. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. The first thing that I did was to gently slide the canna out of its pot. I could have kept this one in the pond for the rest of the summer, but I decided it's slightly root bound and the leaves and flowers have run its course. If I cut it back, then it'll help to generate new growth and new flowers. If your canna is in a pond, then you'll want to use heavy garden soil or clay. And this was the case with this one. If your canna is going just in a regular garden, a flower garden, then you can use potting soil. The first thing we're going to do is rinse off the soil. You don't really need to be very careful on how you rinse off the soil because the roots are really thick and hardy. So you can't really damage them. Even if you might break off some of the little hair roots, it won't hurt your water canna. I'm just rinsing this off just a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing. This is the one that broke off. You want to take off any weeds that you have stuck in there. This one here, see how it's producing a new little canna pup? That'll grow just fine. This one has no place to divide, so we'll just go ahead and put that one aside. Let's rinse this one off and see what we have working for us. All right, we got a little pup there that we can divide and make one plant into two. No matter how careful you are, you're bound to break off a leaf, and that's okay. Don't worry if that happens, because your canna will still grow. As long as you have roots on both stalks, and these do, you should be able to divide your water canna. A lot of what I know is what I learned in the kitchen from my mother. I remember when she taught me how to cut up a chicken. So if you know how to cut up a chicken, you'll know how to divide a canna, oh, and a water lily for that matter. Just look for the joint, like you would an elbow. And there's a good joint right there, and that's where we want to cut. 
Okay, we want to cut right in here. Now, I just cut this previously, but I'm going to show you. This is right in the joint. I cut right straight down this way. And there we have two plants. Here's the mother plant. Remember it had a long stalk on the top? Well, I trimmed that down, so I just left a few leaves in the bottom. And then here's the rest of the plant. Now, if I wanted to, I could trim it all the way down to the base. And that's what I do at the end of the season. When everything starts to go dormant, I just trim it all the way down to a stub. The roots will stay alive and continue to grow and push up new pups and give you even more flowers. There is no real trick to potting. I'm using regular potting soil. If you use potting soil, just make sure that your canna plant is well watered. Ugh. I'm out of breath because I just bonked my head. Ugh. You want to just stick it in the middle and have the and have the soil cover the base of the plant. And that's all you need to do. Water well. Canna likes very very moist soil. The nice thing about potting soil is that the soil already has the fertilizer in it. And I'm going to wait a week and see what it does, but I think I'm going to cut it down here. Plus I have new growth that's starting to pop up underneath. And so when those pop up, and this, if this doesn't do anything, then of course I'm going to just chop that down. And that will be healthy for the plant. So whether you keep your water canna canned like this, or you put it in the pond, well, just make sure you water it well after transplanting, and you will have happy plants. If you use regular garden soil and clay like you would for a, for a pond, then you don't want to put the um, fertilizer on top, because that would just go straight into the water. You want to put the fertilizer about an inch or two above the bottom of the pot. The roots will go down and they'll feed on the fertilizer. You don't want the roots right on the fertilizer, just below, just below the roots, and they'll absorb the nutrients from the fertilizer. I'd like to say hello to my new garden friend, Catherine in Vider, Texas. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> hey, I'm Gail, your palm plant girl. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You have a good day and keep on being you. See you next time.